Is it a little bit too big for him? Oh god. Oh wow. Oh wow. Hey guys, it's me again. And um, Beepop over here molted like a couple of days ago. And I think he's big enough to actually start eating bigger live prey. So today I'm gonna feed him a super worm. And hopefully we'll get to capture his hunting this time. Anyway, let's get it going. First up, I'm gonna take Beep Bop out of his enclosure and just leave him on the ground here. He's kind of huge compared to my finger. Um, so wait, lined up. Yeah, he's looking at my finger. Funny. I'm gonna go get the superworm. So, BRB. So as you can see here, we got the superworm. Um, well, we're just gonna drop it in front of Beep Up and see if he actually takes it. I wanna get a closer view, but not too close so we can actually catch him in action. There we go, perfect. Anyway, here comes the superworm. One fattened up superworm. Oopsies. Is it a little bit too big for him? Oh god, oh wow, oh wow. Oh, oh, it's dropping. Wait. Ha, huh. ha, huh. get us out of the way. Oh, he's going for it. <laughs> Why is it that whenever I try to do these videos, I never catch the takedown? Uh, God damn. Beep up, you're doing fine there, buddy. Oh, the superworm's struggling really bad. This is the first time I fed it um, completely live prey without stunning it in the... I did not stun the superworm inside the freezer. So it's it struggles a lot. Oh my. Hey, hey, you're kind of going out of the place I set up for you. So if you would please go back to... Um, hmm, let me just... Uh-oh. Uh, uh Never mind. Never mind. Stop struggling. Ah, uh, oh, gross! The guts are spilling out. Damn it! I don't want to have to clean this place up later. Um. Okay, I think that the superworm won't be able to struggle that much anymore. So, yeah, I'm gonna put this into time lapse mode and see how this turns out. So cutting the time lapse, I had to put him in a box so that he wouldn't run away. He kept trying to drag the food off the place of this little stand couch that I put him on. And yeah, we don't. And yeah, we don't want that. So I had to put him in the box and let him eat inside. Beep Bop has fully finished his superworm. Now if you look at him, his belly is gigantic now. Look at that. It's so round. Hi Beep Bop. Turn the light over a bit more. There we go. Look at its belly. It's huge. Wait, I can't get a good... <sighs> Beep Bop, stop moving. I need to get a good picture of your belly. Look at that. It's so fat and round. It's amazing. Anyway, time to put him back into his enclosure. 
it's cleaning up after itself after it finished eating so actually let's put it back into its enclosure I also placed some water into that uh, little dish over there so that there's moisture okay it's coming out oops my fingers in the view one it's so colorful now like it's got red spots reddish spots brown spots he's not super green but if you look carefully you can see like it has a little bumps on its like forearms once it gets a lot bigger i'm pretty sure i can like get better quality or more detailed photos anyway i'm gonna slowly lift this away so that it lifts its leg off and goes onto the tree there you have it that's probably gonna be its food for an entire day and as always say bye bye beep bop whatever